The mantra is true, haters really are gonna hate. They can't help themselves. Hey folks, Lacey Green here. Have you ever met someone new and you're like, wow, you're totally the type who would leave nasty comments on the internet? No, just me? Maybe not actually. A new study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology has found that some people are just natural born haters. Building on formal research, scientists have added support to the idea that there are people who are positive and go with the flow, and then there are those who hate everyone and everything and just want to watch the world burn. It's all a matter of the individual's disposition. Those who are negatively dispositioned have a negative outlook on life, and those who are positively dispositioned have a positive outlook on life. In general, daily results may vary. For the study, the researchers identified completely random things. Then they asked the participants to rate how much they liked them. What they found was that the participants' attitudes toward the long list of totally independent, unrelated objects were somehow related. For instance, if the participant didn't like soccer, they were likely not to like politics or architecture either. To which I say, what did architecture ever do to you but put a roof over your friggin' head? See what I mean? Haters. So what does this mean for dealing with your haters? Well, the scientists said this, quote, the dispositional attitude construct represents a new perspective in which attitudes are not simply a function of the properties of the stimuli under consideration, but are also a function of the properties of the evaluator. So this is fancy science speak for it's not you, it's them. If you got someone who's hating, it may have absolutely nothing to do with you, but the fact that said person simply hates everything. The study isn't quite revolutionary, but it is important. Agreeableness is one of the big five personality dimensions, which is one of the leading theories in personality. The big five puts forth the related idea that some people are just downright disagreeable. In terms of how they relate to others, people who rate low on agreeableness tend to see others as selfish and a potential threat, and they're more likely to be deceptive in social relationships. Not maliciously, just in the sense that they're less willing to be open and share the full truth. They're guarded. This personality type has also been shown to be less willing to help those in need, less affected by human suffering, and more likely to intimidate others to get their way. Whether or not a person's agreeableness is caused by genetics or environment or their own free will, still up in the air. So, next time the haters are getting you down, just remember, they're jerks. Seriously, they really are jerks. It's science. Thanks for watching Dean News. Are you a disagreeable personality or do you tend to see the positives in life and people? Tell me about it down below and I'll catch you next time.